Okay, okay, back at the whiteboard. I went through a whole bunch of different ways to try to solve this problem with the reflections and the and the color of the marker and all that mess. I had so many ideas. I was like, you know, I can use filters or I can create a big light shield or I can do all this other stuff. Sometimes, sometimes a simple solution is the best solution. Check that out. Bam. No more reflection. Who needs technology when we have paper? So let's do that image recognition <laughs> counting presentation one more time. So if we're doing Image recognition counting. Let's see how that looks. Still a little small. I'm going to write better. I'm going to write bigger. We'll do this. Okay. So, our objective here, as I talked about before, we want to have a video or a stream of images, and we want to be able to count how many things are in that video. The case that we talked about was retail store traffic. That easier to read? That's much better. Okay, we're doing all right. So we have a store, we have a video feed in front of it, we want to record people coming in and out. So what do we have? So we have our camera. Here's our store camera here. Shooting a video, and we have a series of images coming from it. And that's people coming into the store, leaving the store, etc. Now, there is a lot of research on counting. There is a lot on image counting. There are tons of algorithms. There's so many things. The uh, current kind of best in class is the uh, regional faster regional convolution, convolutional neural network. So F, R, C, N, N. There are better ones, more accurate ones, but this is the one that's kind of the best compromise between speed versus performance. Again, you can always do something stronger, but sometimes faster, cheaper is the better option. FCNN is a good compromise. The regional convolutional neural networks, the way they work is a net deep learning algorithm where you have different regional predictions. So there's a giant tree that of options and one region that it'll score. Uh, so these are types of cats, or these are types of dogs, or these are types of people, or something along those lines. Whatever it is, the algorithm will create what are called bounding boxes around things that it identifies. And we just want to count the number of people. Now I can go into the whole nested routine of how there's different layers of our convolutional neural network and how they all move together and this exercise of stuff that's just me trying to make myself look smart. That's not going to do much for anybody who's trying to actually apply one of these things. Our real algorithm here, or topology, is that first we want to split the image or split into images so that we can count them. Uh, convert to some sort of vector form so that the neural network can ingest it, put it into the neural network, and then output to a database. Output our count to a database, some sort of transactional message, something along those lines. So that we can access the timestamp 
and count. So as long as we can do those two objects, we now have, I guess we probably want to put a store ID in there too. So now we have our store ID, timestamp, count. We've counted how many people come in. We have a store ID. We can now do an accurate estimation of foot traffic just based on this simple routine. This, so there's plenty of these algorithms out there. They already exist. You can use an API. You can use a building one yourself. Once you train it, it doesn't really cost that much computationally to score. Uh, it does cost a lot computationally to train. So it's, again, another give and take. Do you want to just have the pre-trained one, have a cost per transaction from the API, or do you want to design it yourself so that you own it? Because once you have this and the logic for owning it and doing that extra investment in creation and development and implementation is that once you have this information, now you can monetize your own APIs in order to either one, give somebody else their own scoring so they can put it into an API or sell that information through an API for uh, digital marketing folks that really want retail store traffic so that they can tie in the real world performance of their digital campaigns. I hope this was a lot easier to see and understand. Let me know if you have any questions or wanna know more about this in the comments. Thank you guys, bye.